are back with Pinar Toprak, who's our amazing composer. What is it like to be part of your first Marvel Cinematic Universe big night here on the red carpet? It's surreal. All of it is surreal. I couldn't believe that I'm a part of this film up until today. I think I'm believing it today. <laughs> so composing for a major motion picture like that is a huge, huge job. And one of the things you have to do is really know the story and make the music fit the story. Was it challenging to work? I mean, you've got a thousand different kinds of things to learn, a lot of characters, a lot of mythology. Right. What sort of informed your, your, your making uh, the score and how you, how you did it? The main thing to crack was Captain Marvel herself, her theme. And for me, anytime I approach a score, it's all about the heart. What is the heart that we're trying to connect? Because that's what music does. Um, and after that, we came up with themes with, uh, for Kree and Skrull and how to connect them all together, find a universe for the cosmic scenes as well as the fun Earth scenes. So. Well, you know, this is a little bit of a deep music nerd question, so go with me on this. Oh, yeah, I like this. But you know, like John Williams is known for like his big major fifth. Is are there any like special intervals or or cadences that are important to the Captain Marvel theme? Oh, it's great that you asked me this. So yes, it actually the main theme starts with a minor seventh. A lot of the superhero themes are usually fourth or a fifth, and I knew that I wanted to find a theme that is recognizable from the very first two notes. So I started kind of humming ideas. That's actually how I came up with the theme. I was just humming one day. I went outside the studio, started going for a walk, and started humming this minor seventh interval. And then came up with the theme and ended up recording it on my voice memo, which is still the Captain Marvel theme, basically. <laughs> That is so cool. So, so cool. The character of Carol Danvers is so complex, and you really have to convey a lot in music about her. How did you um, find the music in terms of what you wanted to convey? I mean, you didn't want it just a triumphal theme. You wanted to convey a little bit about her personality, and I'm wondering how you, how you got there. I wanted her theme to be strong and powerful, yet I wanted to be really emotional, and because this story and how she is, there's the vulnerability, and it doesn't take away from the strength. So the key was to figure out something that is substantial and powerful. It can be really empowering, but also hopefully goes straight to your heart as well.